Hi everyone. Right, so this is um, potentially the last we did for this last lecture. Right, so there's different ways of doing this. The completed pack does it one way. I've just recorded a video doing it a different way, but it doesn't help us for the question for you. So I'm going to do it a different way which matches the question for you. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do long division. So I've got 4x plus 10, and I'm dividing x plus 5 into it. Now I know a linear divided by linear is going to be a constant. And I've got a remainder. Like if I did 13 divided by 4, it would be 3 with a remainder 1. This is a similar idea if I've got a remainder, and that remainder will be over dx plus 5. Now I need to find them two numbers. So how many times does x go into 4x? That's 4 times. That's my a value. And then if I times 3 by 4, I've got 4x plus 20. So if I take it away, I get minus 10. There's nothing else to bring down, so that's my remainder. Because it doesn't quite fill in. So what I'm saying is that a is 4 and b is minus 10. And that's what I'm going to integrate. It's just a different way of splitting it. I'm just using it. So that one's kind of works as the idea that a linear divided by a linear is a constant plus a remainder. So now if I integrate it, the 4 becomes a 4x. The second bit becomes a log. So what I've got is minus 10. What I want is 1, so I'd have like an invisible divide by 1. And then it's log of whatever's on the bottom. You're really technically using it. And then that's done. But it's that idea of how you split it, based on the idea that you have 13 divided by 4. It, it spits into it three times. It's like a constant divided by a constant is a constant with whatever the remainder is. So I'm going to do similar with this one with a question for you. So I've got 3x cubed plus 8x squared minus 3x minus 5 all divided into by 3x minus 1. Now what I'm expecting, I'm doing a cubic divided by a linear. So I'm going to get a quadratic out plus a remainder if it doesn't fit into it. So I'm thinking I'll have an ax squared, a bx, plus c, plus d over whatever it is. There. Sounds like somebody going home. So let's see. So how many times does 3x go into 3x cubed? It's x squared times. x squared times that bit. Remember you're taking away, so it's 8x squared minus a minus x squared. So that's 9x squared, bring down the minus 3x. How many times does 3x go into 9x squared? It's 3x times. 3x times the 3x minus 1 is 9x squared minus 3x. And that actually gives me 0, because that all cancels. Bring down the minus 5. How many times does... What's this, um, 3x going to minus 5, it doesn't. So I'm kind of stuck there now, and this is my remainder. So what I'm saying is, here, that my a is 1, my b is 3, oh look, there's nothing there for c, my c is 0. So this becomes, uh, I'll get that over this all there is working on the side, isn't it? So it becomes the integral of x squared plus 3x, no c value, uh, plus a minus 5. Oops. So minus 5 over 3x minus 1. These are particularly difficult to do. So it gives me a third x cubed, 3 over 2x squared. And then I've got a log again, look. So what have I got? I've got minus 5. What do I want if I differentiate the bottom is a 3? Then log of whatever is there. I'll check it against the answers in the pack. And then you've got the same. But it's that idea that if I divide linear by linear, it's a constant. If I divide a cubic by a quadratic, it's a, qu by a linear, 
it's a quadratic with the remainder. Because like what he did in the first year, it all fitted in. But these don't fit in, so that's your problem, really. And that's all that. That's that whole lesson done. So well done. I'm going home now. See you later. Bye.